I've been wanting to start this channel for so long, and I'm finally doing it. Tracking's on my face. There we go. All right, face tracking is a go. Let's see. I started being interested. I started being interested in YouTube when I was probably 12 or 13. Kind of funny. I actually wanted to be a professional gamer. I wanted to. I used to watch all these gamers back in the day, and I wanted to play Call of Duty professionally. Funny enough. Um, but I never did it. I never started a YouTube channel. I was really nervous. I was really scared. Didn't know how to do it. So I never did it. Then I went to high school, and then in high school, I got introduced into broadcast and filmmaking, using a camera to make videos to create emotion, and I loved it. It was my favorite class uh, for the four years, three years I took it. Um, it was amazing. I loved, I loved creating. I loved making the videos. I loved trying to make people feel a certain way, and uh, that's kind of sparked my interest in video making. So I already had the interest in YouTube, and then I started becoming really interested in making videos. I actually fell off that passion because of one stupid reason, which was money. I was, not that I couldn't afford anything, which really I couldn't afford any camera equipment or anything like that, but that this, oh, th this passion, what everyone kept telling me was, oh, you can't make money making videos unless you make movies. You have to make these crazy movies that are like, that go into movie theaters and that's the only way you can make money making videos. And I believed him. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not gonna pursue this. My goal, or what other people told me I should do really, which became my goal because I was listening to them, was to move to New York uh, and then work on Wall Street. And before that, get a degree in business. And, and that was my goal until college started. I, I remember that this was kind of funny because I, I stopped really watching YouTube religiously like I did when I was younger and then in high school. I still watched a couple YouTubers just because they were funny, but I wasn't watching the type of videos that I once wanted to make. So I started watching YouTube again, uh, got introduced into all these new YouTubers, and then I realized that my passion was making videos. I called my dad, and my dad had always told me, don't worry about the money, find out whatever your passion is and what you're good at, and then find, he always called it the sweet spot. You gotta find something that you're good at, and you gotta find something that you like to do, and then you use that, that's your sweet spot. That's, that's what you need to do for the rest of your life. Um, I didn't believe him, and I just went to college doing uh, business things. So, I called my dad, and I was like, "Dad, uh, I want to make videos. I want to. I want. This is actually a conversation I had. I called my dad at like 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and I was like, "Hey, Dad, sorry if I woke you up. I just really needed to tell you that you were right. I, I do want to make videos. I do want that to be what I do as a, a career, and it's my passion, and I really want." 
for this started. I really wanted to, uh, I keep clapping. I really wanted to get a, um, get a camera. So I started saving, immediately started saving up for a camera. I really wanted to make videos. I really wanted to inspire people. Like I had been inspired on YouTube by all these great um, YouTubers. And I, it was, I realized that making videos was my passion and making videos was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and making videos and photography, just use camera in general, but mostly videos because I've always loved making them. I just honestly didn't think there was any money in it. I got my camera and honestly, I got my camera. I started taking a few pictures and I was like, God, this is going to be impossible. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to where I want. There's no way that I'm going to be able to make these videos like these people on YouTube. There's no way that I'm going to be able to make these photos that I'm seeing on Instagram, all these crazy Instagram shots that are just like, oh, how did you even get that? And I was taking these photos and I was like, God, oh, these suck. I suck. I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck. And I kind of stopped. I didn't stop, but I put it on hold and I was like, well, maybe maybe I should just, just get a business degree and move to New York and go to Wall Street. I didn't believe that fully. So I started watching YouTube again. I found this channel, a couple channels, by the name of Wolves and Wolves Travel. And I watched, and I still watch, a ton of their videos. Made me realize that I need to do whatever it takes to be happy. You only get one life. You get one life to do something with your life. And why would you waste it? Why would, why would you live the only life that you have doing something that you don't want to do? I, my biggest fear now that I realize this is retiring whenever, 60, or looking back at my life when I'm 55, looking back and realizing that I didn't do what I wanted to do. And that the last 40, 50 years of my life were a waste and that I did something that somebody else told me to do and that did not make me happy. I do not want to do that. That's that's one of my biggest fears. Um, so that's kind of, I guess that's kind of why I'm starting this channel is because I've wanted to do it for so long. It's always been my passion to make videos and I'm tired of doing what other people tell me to do. So I guess I should kind of tell you what I want this YouTube channel to be. I want this YouTube channel to be So I guess the content, the content that I want to create are cinematic shots like that. I plan on traveling a ton this summer, as much as I possibly can. So travel videos, vlogs of me traveling, cool cinematic vlogs, not just, uh, hey, I'm getting in my car, get some car. Hey, I'm going to the store. Hey, I'm getting milk at the store. Look at this milk. It's 2%. Ha, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. But no, I, I want it to be more of like an in-depth view of my life and what it's like to be a uh, beginner photographer, videographer, and creator. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit like. And if you're excited to see what I'm going to create or you are interested in what I'm going to do, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Was that good? I'm not refilming that. <laughs> so if it sucks, I guess I'm gonna give up on my dreams and move to New York or something. Oh God. <laughs> I tried. Get Zach his on this We chose the wrong booth, boys. I know, that's like. Dude, that's really good. I just. That's so good right now. Dude, that's really good. Dude, that's so good. I've never heard him talk about this. This is amazing. That's so fun. Dude, this looks so bad. Why don't you get down by the 